Hey guys, we're here on the Stim Hack League. We haven't been spam blend playing Haley. This hand, I don't know, it's close. But I don't. I'd love to have some economy. Alright. This is weird. Pretty weird. That's not the ice I even want. This hand is miserable. <laughs> uh, this will hopefully distract him a little bit while I play restructure and attempt to draw any ice. Maybe the gears will be turning in his head now, and he's like, what is happening? <laughs> if I can confuse him, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, so... Well, we didn't draw another ice. He's going to be at three credits next turn. We're just going to give that one away and set up for the next one. This will at least let our server stay there, and we're not going to build more than one server, so this will avoid giving him any cards. RHQ is very exposed here. I'm not a happy camper. Oh, he's going to stim hack into the other NAPD. Just wants to get his RDI out, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. We hit a sure gamble, please, with that. Subliminal. Ah. I think we're just going to score the NAPD, to be honest. It's not great. But we apparently don't have any ice in our deck. I really need to make sure I have the right list, because... We play 19 ice, but it seems like we don't have as many. I need to have a look at it. Maybe I explored the wrong list. <laughs> Just gonna get R&D locked for a little while. Mm, that's fine. Little does he know they're all in our hand. <laughs> Not all of them, but... All right, I'm gonna score this. The subliminal is not that good. Once you play it, we're not gonna get it back. So let's think, we're gonna push our Nisei out. Probably. Or not the Nisei, the future perfect with Caprice, Nisei, and the server. I'm thinking like install, install, advance. Flip the biotech to score it. That's a little sketchy, but it is what it is. Cause he's gonna start coming for HQ now. But keeping this in hand has paid off because he's now accessed it. I like it. It's gonna just KD up. All right, we're we're gonna just shove this. The 
this might make him do an awkward admin 5. I mean, I assume he has a stim hack for this, which he'll need. As for what to bid, I'm really not sure. Probably just random. As long as we don't draw any extra cards, he's going to see fewer fresh ones. Yeah, here comes the stim, as expected. Curious if he'll answer this chum or if he'll go into the Excalibur. Because we could barely get a flat line if he doesn't deal with the Excalibur, but he's got enough money to deal with it. It is Excalibur. Uh, so what are we going to bid here? He's on 3 plus 2 from the other ones. Really? I'm not sure. Is he going to... Oh, he might do something. Is he going to break this? No, he's not. Okay. I think I'll try bidding too. I don't know. Shit. Oh yeah, that was, that's it for us. We are just done right now. Okay, how are we going to win here? We need to get lucky. That's the long and short of it. This refractor is fine. Do you want a credit from subliminal? I guess. Kronos project is not really helpful. He's got enough things already. I'm just going to actually draw some more and we'll pitch. Yeah, we need that side game. Okay, so... More or less the Nutter Caprice. Before we just lose to R&D lock, which could happen at any time. 
Well, we had a close call there. He almost... He thought about going into the... Risking the Excalibur on death. We actually get Subliminal back, so that's cool. But how do we not lose here? We can get some lady tokens used up. Yeah, but he can get SMC whenever he wants, so... I don't know, this is probably still fine. Probably just randomize my side against Ben. He seems to be in my head a little bit. He is fairly slow to rig up, but word is not getting anything we need. So we'll draw some more. Fire off the restructure. The cortex lock is, I don't know, it's a card. This is really not something you want in our hand, unless we had a caprice, in which case something we do want. Hmm. I feel like he's coming in with the legwork soon. Nice free actions. We'll have to count at the end and see how many free actions he's got. So far he's only gotten four. Four actions. He probably would have gotten more out of Kate. But hard to say. Um, this really doesn't do much at all, but we have money to burn, so I will res it. If we had any grails here, I'd be a lot happier. No such luck. Doesn't hit, but we're also not getting anything ourselves. This Chrysium does not much for us. Well, I guess it stops legwork. I don't think he has makers or anything that we care about for purposes of that. I'll well, put the other Jackson here. Oh, that gives him a card. Yeah, not ideal. Basically just lock us in R&D. Uh, I wanna burn both Jacksons here. Probably, yeah. Chronos Project's actually irrelevant to us.
We don't want it, he don't want it. It's not doing much. So it's actually one case where it's better than the third and APD. He needs to pay for the lockpicks, obviously, as well. These saves aren't coming up to play. Caprice is gone again, unfortunate. Yeah, this is going nowhere. I guess we put another barrier down. I guess. Well, once he runs with his lady, he needs to get another one. Which might give us something. I should have probably put the Baku or a barrier out in front earlier. Checking out, interesting. I guess he doesn't want to. Doesn't have another barrier breaker. Doesn't want to go empty. Uh, well, thank God he didn't, because we're gonna have to just do this. So to win, we now need a caprice and a remote, and we can stick it in here. Yes. Suppose that's true. It is a surprise ad, man. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance this will give it up. There's two more Niseis, a future pervert and an NAPD. He's just trashing all my caprices. That's fine. Parasite gonna come down on this Galahad. Makes a lot of sense. Well, it's not getting any better for us. We're gonna shove the Future Perfect and see if he misses an R&D again. Oh, yeah, that's right. He made clone ship when he installs the uh, installs the parasite. He can get clone ship to get his lady back. So he's gonna easily make his run for two fresh cards, and he'll live or die on that. I'm not sure in these cortex lock. I think I might cut them. They've been good, but they've also just sat in my hand a lot. Um, shapers are the worst against. They're actually pretty reasonable against the other two factions. But I seem to play a lot of shapers around here. So, just gonna cross our fingers. And he whiffs it. We might steal this game, actually. He doesn't have the app, man. Yeah, the biotic is so good when you're behind. Just pop that Nisa out, or even get your Chronos product for the win at the end. Like it's just a great card for this ID, because the Nisa token is how you score your next agenda. 
definitely this doesn't have much in the way of like siphons or other HQ pressure. So really you just need to focus on R&D. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's what he's gonna do. He's done. So things look dire, but we stole the game via our R&D holding up decently, and that biotic play was huge. Whew. And him not running the HQ when we had to be in there. So there's only like really three left in the deck. Yeah, the Biotic was amazing. So things are dicey with this deck, but it does seem to come out on top surprisingly often. So I'm gonna keep trying it out. I'm not sure in the Grails yet. We seem to not have, we don't, don't seem to draw enough Grails to really make them worth it. Uh, maybe these could come out could find a little more influence somewhere. Hard to say. Thanks for watching, guys.